Howdy, this is Michael with thethriftshopper.com, and I'm with Karen Keene, appraiser for the Antiques Roadshow. Hi, Karen, how are you doing? Hi, Michael. We're shopping, of course. <laughs> you are, you are, you are. So, uh, do you like frequenting thrift shops? You know, I'm ashamed to say I do. It's one of my guilty pleasures. I love finding interesting and unusual things. Okay. And do you have a particular thing you search for? I never. No. I just go in and let the moment take me. Right. I was on Martha's Vineyard last weekend, and I found the most spectacular pair of sunglass earrings. Okay. So you put the glasses on, they look like 1960s sort of glasses, round. There's a chain that goes on the back of your head and then it hangs down the back and then there are these discs that look, so they're sunglass earrings. I mean, where would you find those? A thrift oh, shop. <laughs> right. Do you remember the, the, the thrift shop you shopped at? Actually? Um, actually, this was in a Grange Hall on Martha's Vineyard, uh, which is a group shop that comes together uh, in the summer periodically. Oh, nice, nice. So there was a dealer, but I don't, I don't know the dealer's name. Nice, nice. And um, what are some of your better finds that you've found in thrift shops over the years? Well, you know, I, uh, I don't have a huge budget to shop with, so I buy things that I like. I would say that, um, I think, well, I love antique jewelry. So uh, I have a wonderful Art Deco uh, brooch that you know, I bought for $10, um, which was made out of an abalone shell and uh, metal, just a little chrome uh, metal piece. But it's got great style, it's great design, and it was, I mean, what can you buy for $10? Not much. <laughs> you know, you're actually, uh, a little later on today, I think you're going to be going to the coop. Mm -hmm. And which is a, a hospital. It's a benefit to a, 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 a hospital. Oh right. So, and, so it's um, sort of people donate their things to the hospital, and then they sell. Well, they them donate. Them. They, they, they donate it to the thrift shop. They sell it, and then the, the proceeds go to benefit the hospital. Right. And um, Joan does have a lot of good vintage jewelry there, so you're going to enjoy yourself. Excellent. And a lot I'll of good look, vintage clothing too. I'll look forward to it. Yeah, she's really up on that stuff, so you're you're going to have a really really good time. Very cool. Um. Can you think of any good finds that uh, that were brought to you as appraisals on the roadshow that were found in thrift shops? Uh, okay, you got me now. Um, uh, let me think. Thrift shops. Um, you know, when the, at the roadshow, people find things in all sorts of uh, venues. Um, thrift shops are one of the places people uh, people shop at. So when I, I guess maybe we should talk about definition of thrift shop. Is this um, shops that are that nonprofits use to garner money by donations? That's how I look at it. Yes. Okay. But okay. That's, that's just me. Okay. And that's okay. my website is is only charity resale. Shop. Right, right. That's so cool. What a great website. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll give you a card after the interview. So and, uh, all over the country. You... I, have, I have a national directory. Oh my goodness. So, and and often in those shops, you've got, you can make great finds in them because of course, the knowledge that's there is based on the people who are running the shop from the various charities, often they're just volunteers, correct? Um, and people are giving their stuff away. So it's, um, it's a win-win situation. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Karen, I think you're meeting on camera. Thank you okay. very, very much Thank for your you. time. Sorry. And I'll probably see you tomorrow. Oh, excellent. I can't wait. Excellent. Thanks <laughs> a lot. Thank you.